So I want to take you on a quick tour of this MC20 cello. Now I saw this unveiled in Italy a few months ago and it was just beautiful, especially in this color. But I want to walk around and I want to explain some of the philosophy because Klaus Busse, who designed this car, just gave me a great rundown. So I'm going to see if I can remember what he said and translate it for you guys. First, what he said when I asked him what his favorite aspect was in terms of the design capabilities of this car and what he accomplished. He said he loves the combination of the smooth, clean uh, top half or top two thirds of the car with what he called kind of the brutal engineering of the bottom like third or bottom fourth of the car. What he means by that, he worked really closely with the designers to make sure, for instance, like the air intake was very subtle, but then he wanted the lower diffuser areas and the rear diffuser to help with the stability. He told the engineers literally go crazy. He said, that's your area. You make this car stable. And you can really see it. This rear three quarter shot, that's where you see it, right? You see this beautiful sculpture and then it flows into massively aggressive carbon fiber lower diffuser to help stabilize the car at high speed. And he says you really see that philosophy all through the car. The front grille has the same thing. The front grille maybe in his mind represents most effectively the melding together of the engineering with the beauty of the car on the top half. You've got that circular front grille, but look, the top half is this beautiful clean design and then the bottom half, again, is this pure function in carbon fiber. And also the color, he said the color even, they put on a base coat of like this gray and then they added this really cool turquoise blue color and that's what gives us this multi, this multi-colored uh, effect. And you get close to the color, which is really hard to capture on film by the way, it's almost frustrating because you have to see this car in person, really both for the visual proportions and the, and the shape but this color cannot be captured effectively on film. Sorry guys, you've got to see it in person. And of course we're under a diffuse cloudy sky and it still looks gorgeous and it'll totally change under a sunny sky as well. So I love colors like this that have so much creativity going on. Oh yeah, one other thing I wanted to talk about. Inside, instead of the contrast stitching that's become so big in luxury cars, this car actually has laser etched shapes. So these, these shapes that you see on the seats, those were done by laser etching. And again, Klaus, he said he wanted uh, Maserati to be represented by all of the kind of classic passion that goes along with any Italian brand and the Italian kind of uh, heritage, melded with cutting edge technology. And that he feels like the laser etching on the seats, which no other car company is doing right now, is a good example of that. So it's this bringing together different worlds into a single vehicle and doing it in a way that doesn't look like a mess or a mishmash, it looks like they were supposed to be that way. I think a lot of people look at this car and they'll just be like, wow, this car's got this kind of compelling design. And it's really good to know the, why it has a compelling design. What drove this combination of features that makes this car look so cool. And hopefully I just explained it as well as Klaus did to me.